right guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about the DJI Mavic Air 2. This is an awesome drone. You just watched me slam it into the wall. It was fine. Um, I've had this for probably about six or seven months now. I brought it with me on the Trans America Trail. It was great. It got me some awesome shots. And within a month of owning this thing, when I was still practicing and learning, I got a video on the news. Flames burned through two homes in central Fresno this morning. The two houses caught fire on Wilson and McKinley near Fresno High School just before 5.30. This is drone video captured by ABC 30 insider Cedric. So for the money, you can't beat this drone. This is under $500. Um, it might be an entry-level drone, but you'd be surprised what you can do with this guy. Um, it is under 250 grams, which is great. That means you don't have to register with the FAA. You just buy it, you download the software, and then you fly it. You can get into a lot of trouble with one of these guys. You'd be surprised at the level of freedom that you have. Um, this thing will fly easily to 500 meters. Now, be aware you shouldn't be doing that I think most you know areas you're capped at like 120. It'll give you a warning. You know, probably don't go over that warning. Um, you can also fly the sky really far. There is no limit on how far it will go. You can set it to unlimited, meaning you can fly this thing until you just lose connection to it and it falls out of the sky or runs out of battery. I wouldn't recommend that either because you're supposed to be keeping an eye on it at all times while it's in the air. <laughs> you're gonna be shocked at the level of freedom that you have with this guy. And what's really gonna make this awesome is the 4K camera on that gimbal. You are going to get the most amazing shots with very little effort. I mean, I am by no means a videographer. I just was some schmuck who flew out my drone and got some cool shots and it actually looks like I know what I'm doing. Another key selling point of this drone is its durability. Now, I never crashed it on the Trans America Trail, but I was launching in some crazy conditions. I launched it from the beach, from the sand where the wind was whipping up to 40 miles an hour. Drone was fine, it was kind of hovering cockeyed, but it was fine. Um, I launched this puppy at 13,000 feet and got some aerial footage. I did a flyby, worked great. I mean, the uh, air braking wasn't as responsive, but it still worked. Um, I've launched this thing in the swamp in the mud and I had this thing bounce around in its case for close to 5,000 miles on a dirt road on a dirt bike so it's durable. Alright so one of my favorite things about the drone is actually the controller. So the controller links up with your phone, just connects right on top and you're going to use that to fly your drone, but it's also going to be used for taking pictures and video. So it's really cool is it's going to store all the pictures and all the videos directly on your phone and on the drone. So you have instant access to it. You also have two separate files in case one gets lost. Um, I have had a few issues with glitches where a video disappears either on the drone or on the phone, but it's awesome because it's still in one of the two places. So I still have the file. You'll never lose it. Um, I have experienced a few glitches with this guy. I found that it's pretty much fixed though with their updated firmware, so you download that, update it. Every now and then you will have to recalibrate the drone, which is kind of frustrating because scenarios will pop up and you'll be like, I need to get this drone in the air right now and you gotta do like a five minute calibration. It's a pain in the butt. But if you're planning on getting into aerial photography or videography, you cannot beat this drone. This is an entry level drone but it will exceed your expectations, I guarantee it. So check it out, guys.